worst things you see in Las Vegas that you don't see anywhere else in the world. It can chew you up and spit you out. I used to be Johnny Tough Guy, Johnny Gangster, Johnny Drug Dealer, Johnny all that shit, but I was still a jackass. If you can hustle on the street, you can sell cars. I'm Wayne Harriman, and this is Lone Star. I went to prison for organized crime. I had a goal of straightening my life out, but had to work towards it. I opened a car lot and started hiring people, and I felt like I had nothing in common with people that don't have a checkered past, which is almost everybody that works there. Oh yes, my name is Steven. I was convicted of possession of a controlled substance, which was cocaine. He said, well, you got a job for me, man? I can sell. And you've never sold before. Well, never cars. <laughs> I can't picture you selling, but buddy, everybody gets a chance here. See, the whole key to selling cars is like trying to pick up girls at a bar, man. Oh, okay. You want to stay persistent at it, like trying to get their phone numbers or trying to get laid. You want to come at them, tell them whatever you got to tell them to try to get into the car. My name is Greg Snyder. I'm a salesman here at the car lot. I have allegations and cases pending, but no convictions. No felony convictions. I gotta leave at uh, 245. They called my caller today. Are you being serious? Call them what? You're not saying that I have to go pee and come right back because I have a job. You're saying I have to go fuck off and do a bunch of other Cause shit. Because it's for my daughter, man. It's not for me. Oh, okay. So now I'm concerned Uncle about Wayne, your daughter. Bro. Exactly. Your <laughs> Uncle Wayne, bro. <laughs> All right. You love me. You're lucky you threw in the fucking daughter, Jack Off. I'll buy the car for 700 My name is Bill Moskowitz. I'm Arlene Moskowitz. And we've been married for 41 years. When they come in to sell us a car, if I can use the car, come up with a fair number. 850? It's wrong with 700. We don't like it. it. Sounded fair to me. This poor Asian guy, he gives me a sad story. He's trying to move back east. The car was worth at least a grand, 1200 Bill just grinds his tires off to 750 That's just how Bill does it, man. Bill's the grinder. He's got. $5 tennis shoes on, he's probably got a big stack of money at his house. Our slogan is nice cars for nice people. Our clientele is basically people that can't get financed anyway. It doesn't matter what your credit's like. If I trust you or I think that you'll pay, I'll give you a loan. This is the last stop before the bus stop. What's up, kiddo? I'm Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Robert. Hi. Robert, okay, I got your credit here. I see that you had a repo. Yes, I suffered a stroke. I'm a remote tech. I need a vehicle to do a remote. So. And I definitely need a vehicle. I like to help people, and I like to give them a chance. I like to give everybody a chance, but you can't. I got a deal for you, kid. I got this lady. I called her into every bank. She's turned out. She's worked 27 years on job, and she can't just keep a car. If she don't pay, we're just going to chase her and pay the repo fee. But, I mean, we'd take a shot. Um, I'd rather not, probably. Tammy, I can't get it done. There's some people you just can't help. If you're not going to help yourself, and you're not going to help me help you, then we can't do business. My name is Roshana Gaforia. I've been in real estate for the past 10 years, was licensed when I was 18. I used to own that house right there, the second one, the single story. When the real estate market crashed, it brought my credit score down to the bottom. And in real estate, you need a nice car. The way you represent yourself makes a big difference in what people think about you. So uh, the Jaguar, Yeah. the car is like a $15,000 car. I didn't want to do business with her if she's just going to keep balling, not realizing that it's going to take you a minute. You got to downsize, and it's going to take you a minute to rebuild. Calm down. Calm That's down. Calm down. We're here. All calm down. But I called him into the So agreement. if you would have paid us when you said you were going to pay us, this problem wouldn't even be in existence. That's the principle. There's no principle. The principle, the principle is calm is down and fucking talk normal. If people don't pay, I give them a couple chances, I'll call them or whatever, and then I repo them. I want the dude come out shooting or something. Well, they got the keys, man. I just want to make this as quick as possible, in and out. I know, that's right. Okay, look, the second driveway right here, turn it right here. There it is in the back right there. That's oh, the That's just how we do it. Gotta pay your bills, people. Gotta pay your bills. Sales people see Wayne. Wayne's a ball buster. The whole freaking place needs to work harder, no dig harder, put in more, and do more. Brandon, nobody needs to work today. I just came back from lunch, bro. You should be happy you have a job and do your job, and then we'll discuss the money. Is there sales people here? Do you want work here? Sell the car. It's fifty-four ninety-five. We gave him the extension, which is right. wrong. You got it. Right on. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. No problem. Wayne is a great dude. I just seen to with that recent repo, I just got to get with Wayne. 
It's actually his money we're lending. And this is the current paycheck? So like, yeah. All right, man. You got a deal. All right, thank you. No problem. Thank you. I don't mind helping people like that. People that want to help themselves, I love to help. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. No, no, for real, here. No, turn around. All right, cool. So, the Jaguar, you're obviously trying to get back on your feet. Yeah, that and was just too much. Yeah, that right. was just a ridiculous amount. You like the crossfire, right? I love it. You love it? I love so it. I'll set you up with Owen. He'll do all the paperwork with you. Owen, oh, see Wayne. There has to be a reason why you're on this earth. When you die, you have to leave a legacy. You have to have done something in your life. And I thought to myself, the best thing you could do is help people.